Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, Harry and Meghan have to be shaking in their boots at this moment. Lilibet Mountbatten Windsor's godfather, Tyler Perry, may be implicated in forcing himself on people, actors, male actors in Hollywood. Let's get into it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Ilani of Barbados. Okay, so what you may not know has been going on in Hollywood. It's a lot of people have been called out recently. We had a big incident with P. Diddy, who is a rapper, a mogul, a businessman, a fashion brand, and he has recently been called out for assault of the S kind by his girlfriend of seven years, Cassie. Immediately, he settled with her for almost 40 million US dollars. In 24 hours, he settled. And since then, a lot of people have been coming out against P. Diddy. He has lost almost all of his contracts, all of his business deals. The man is in a state. Everybody's coming out of the woodwork. So it's really not surprising that other people are jumping on that bandwagon and accusing powerful men in Hollywood, black men of similar things. At the moment, all the blogs are talking about it. Christian Keys. They're talking about Christian Keys and Tyler Perry. So in case you missed it, the actor held a live stream on Instagram to speak about a wealthy figure in the film industry who frequently made passes at him. This person was sexually, sexually harassing me for years. And even offered him a hundred thousand dollars to strip and once tried grabbing his beep. Keys claimed this individual was somebody who was greatly loved and revealing their identity would have a significant impact on the entertainment industry. <laughs> I find this very rich because if you remember Meghan Markle saying that. And you're not going to tell me who had the conversation? I think that would be very damaging to them. Okay. Life is a circle, isn't it? This sparked massive debates on social media regarding who it might be. Many believe the culprit was none other than Perry. Keyes rose to fame through his work on the early Medea plays. He is also the creator of the BET series All the Queen's Men, which Perry executive produces. Therefore, it's unlikely that he was referring to Perry, though it's possible. For now, Keyes is not revealing the name. Instead, he is planning to turn over audio recordings of the person's voice to police. I'm gonna have to take the seats the recordings down to the police department. Perry has not commented publicly on the matter. Christian Key said this gentleman who he's not named very important, he's not named Tyler Perry, but all the blogs are talking about that they have deduced it as Tyler Perry because in this live that Christian Keys did on Instagram, he mentioned certain hints like that the man just came out with a documentary and we know that Tyler Perry came out with a documentary, Maxine's Baby, which is about his mother. And I did a video about that before. You know, I've done some videos on Tyler Perry. This is why I have to get on this right away and I'm like out of breath because, oh my goodness, what would Harry and Meghan say? Christian Keys says, since 2008, he has recorded on some kind of pen drive, this man's voice and all of the advances that he has been doing upon him for these years, since 2008. He also says that this powerful man has propositioned other black men and all of these black men have been doing things for him and doing things with him to get ahead. And he's the one that said, no, he's not gonna do it. He was claiming, you know, that he had multiple young black men on the payroll and they just had to show up when he was, when he requested them to be there. But he does have the pen drive with all of the receipts, my honey. Now about this pen drive, I do think Christian Keys would have had a lot of foresight to put everything on a pen drive because in 2008, if you remember, technology was very different in 2008. We barely had Facebook, at least in the Caribbean, we barely were getting into Facebook. We barely were sending voice notes at that time. So for him to have the foresight to keep everything on a pen drive is really interesting and very damning for whoever was assaulting him. The reason why he said he put everything on a pen drive is because a lot of the times predators will be like, let me see your phone so that they could see that your phone is off and that you're not recording them. I have always kept something on me, always. Even if my phone is off, something else is, if I'm around somebody that has tried to sexually harass me, pressure me, intimidate me into some nonsense, I've always kept something on me so I could protect myself because if they're that powerful and they feel that entitled, then they, they can also try to get in the way of your work. So that's why he could always give them his phone and then continue to record in his pocket on this pen. This is very threatening to a lot of people who would have been around Christian Keys and may or may not have been hitting on him at that time. However, all the blogs have decided it's Tyler Perry, honey. Now, you know how I feel about Tyler Perry. I was very disgusted by Tyler Perry. I said, well, we'd like for you to be Lily's godfather, I go, I'd take a minute to take that in. 
And I thought, I'd be honored. Got off the phone, took it all in. Then I called him back. I go, uh, hold on a second. Does this mean we got to go over there and do all of that in the in the church with them and figure all that out? Because I don't want to do that. Maybe we can do a little private ceremony here and let that be that. Now, you know, I've done some videos on Tyler Perry as he relates to Meghan and Harry. I especially got extremely turned off of Tyler Perry because of what he said about the royal family, these people who he hadn't met and he hadn't even met Meghan. <laughs> Thanks to another amazing friend who we've never met, but who believes in us wants to help but believed all of her crap about the royal family so much to the point where he would not be under the same roof as them remember when he said that and we're talking about god's roof he said he would not even go into a church with them and from that point i was like oh no this man is a whole entire fool he doesn't understand the culture of the royal family he doesn't understand the tradition he doesn't understand who these people are what they do he automatically hates them just based on a phone call from Meghan Markle who he'd never met. He also had them in his house, Meghan and Harry. He also made them send him videos of them constantly in the house. He had them like a little Tamagotchi where he was just watching them and being like, okay, are they eating now? And then this video of them kissing, you know, that they sent to Tyler Perry just seemed all very weirdo behavior to me. I also always thought along with a lot of other people, that Tyler Perry was gay. Not because he played a woman like Medea, because we know Robin Williams played Mrs. Doubtfire and nobody thought he was gay, but I don't know. It was just Tyler Perry just seemed like Oprah's mean gay friend, along with Stedman. Allegedly. But anyway, this whole idea of black closeted men in Hollywood is something that causes a lot of suspicion all the time. And I wasn't the only one who thought that about Tyler Perry. But then up he jumps with this beautiful Ethiopian goddess of a woman who is the real philanthropist out of all of them, really and truly. She is the woman who had a child with him, a son. And she is beautiful and she does a lot of charity work. He approaches the relationship with her like this was accidental and that he had this son and he wasn't ready for it and he just wants to be a bachelor. I mean, a man who's a billionaire, just wants to be a bachelor, doesn't really want anything to do with a son, and doesn't really have any time for all of that stuff. It just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Because why though? And another thing I didn't like is that he seems very cheap when it comes to his child because he has his private jet, which as you know, Meghan and Harry fly up and down on all the time. But when it comes to his son, his son mentioned that there were a lot of people in the airport. You have to deal with a lot of crowds when you travel, not private. And it's a bit of an inconvenience. And when Tyler Perry caught wind that he had said that to his mom, he cut him off from flying on his private jet. And he's very proud of that. And he talks about that he stopped his son from traveling private since he said that airports are crowded otherwise. It's giving a-hole. It's, it's giving, uh, what on earth? It's giving mean and stingy. Another thing he does, which is very low class in my opinion, is that he constantly talks about what he does for other people, even though he says he doesn't talk about what he does for other people. He then follows it up with what he does for other people. So me and this man, we don't really get along. But taking all of that and put to one side, how crazy would it be if this is the same person that is going around being a predator and assaulting people? Oh my goodness. And wouldn't that be unironically justice in a way that Meghan and Harry paid no attention to his money of course or the fact that they didn't know him at all and decided to boom run and make him the godfather of Lilibet based on what based on the fact that he was a billionaire of course they cared only about the money of course they're narcissists of course he's a narcissist too and he probably won't give them any money for Lilibet after all <laughs> if he even treats his son this way who knows but they rushed and decided to do that because it was Tyler Perry, he has a name, and he has a lot of money. They admit, and they had to admit, because Tyler Perry didn't even appear at the wedding of Meghan and Harry. So everyone knew they weren't friends, so of course they had to admit that in their documentary, mockumentary, Meghan and Harry did admit that they didn't even know this person. And that's, somehow they twisted that to be a humble brag of how much people love them, because even without knowing them, their people like Tyler Perry are willing to do these wonderful things for them. Humble bragging, 
that's something else that Tyler Perry is very good at. But his personality is very complicated. His upbringing was very complicated and very full of a lot of pain, it seems. It seems quite the right recipe for him to then inflict pain on other people as the cycle of abuse goes. But nobody knows if it's him. But everybody's assuming based on the tips and the little hints that Christian Keyes gave that it probably is him. And what will that mean for Meghan and Harry? As I'm doing this video, I see this. Christian Keys appears to confirm that Tyler Perry was not the Hollywood powerful man who harassed him. It says it looks like Christian Keys wants to clear Tyler Perry's name. Days after Keys went live to detail years long SH at the hands of a powerful billionaire, he liked a tweet about Perry not being the harasser. The tweet says, watching Christian Keys, and I can tell he is clearly a victim, only three grand to his name and violated by a gay billionaire. And no, I don't believe it was TP. I wish Christian would have taken action. That man will still have his money and good name and Christian will remain broken. And for some reason, Christian like this and everyone's saying, oh, okay, he's Claire Tyler Perry. Oh, how quick we are to judge. Well, how quick we are to unjudge, it seems as well. I think that Christian Keyes is taking his little pen and showing his power by liking this tweet. Christian Keyes giveth and Christian Keyes taketh away. In liking that tweet, he is showing whoever the powerful man in Hollywood is, that he can easily make people believe it is you or it's not you just by liking a tweet. And by the way, I don't even know why he liked this tweet. It's kind of poorly written and it's just, it's very confusing. I don't know what he's talking about, three grand or whatever. I mean, whatever. He decided to like this tweet to show the assailant I can easily take the guilt away from you or I can give it to you. Because all he has to do is go on ahead and like another tweet that does implicate Tyler Perry and there we go again. And in the meantime, Tyler Perry is working with his lawyers to figure out how much millions of his billions he needs to give to Christian Keys. Because that's what's going on right now. Whether Tyler Perry is guilty or not, even P. Diddy's attorney reminds us that just because he gave $40 million to a girl in 24 hours is not an admission of guilt. It's just settling. He just wants it to go away. And in the same way, Tyler Perry might be considering settling and making it go away. And Christian Keyes is just reminding him how easily he can help it to go away. What a thing, what a thing. They wouldn't use another man from England that Harry's known his whole life, grew up with. They wouldn't try to mend fences and make Uncle William the godfather. No, they were just after who can give us the biggest house, the private jets, and the Hollywood fame. Tyler Perry, okay, your godfather, your godfather. And he's such a simp. He wants so badly to have a white knight in his life that he was like, oh yes, I was so honored. I was honored to be Lilibet's godfather. You do not know these people. He doesn't even give his family money, Tyler Perry, by the way. He says that his mother is the one that decides who gets money in the family. She's the filter. But he's honored to be the godfather of people he does not know children. Well, that's if he has any money to give after this, okay? Because this kind of thing will wipe you out, even if it's not true. It's a horrible accusation and a lot can be lost in a very short period of time just based on this accusation. But it's all happening. It's all happening in Black Hollywood. All of this is going on and, you know, Tyler Perry is definitely the, the richest of the Black Hollywood celebrities. So it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Anyway, I just want to jump on here really quickly and talk about this because I do videos on Tyler Perry. He does rub me the wrong way. I do wish him the best and I hope he's not being wrongfully accused, but we're going to watch this space for sure. And I love you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification so we can keep up with this story. Love you so much. Bye.